You got it. Right. On election night, when you were done processing before you were told to leave, mm -hmm. um, did you see any of the numbers then? And did you see any of the report numbers after Shanna supposedly fixed your errors? I the um, the numbers that I put into the system were the only numbers that I that I ever saw. Um, even on, I mean, we had you know reports. We made copies of the the. Um, the numbers, you know, and left them on the front desk so people could come in and grab the number, you know, grab a copy of them so they could see. And they were all the numbers that I had put into the into the system, um, so I never saw another set of numbers. So the ones that were initially printed out and handed to the observers that night mm -hmm. were the numbers that you inputted, that you know of. You, you would that I that. know of. I didn't see any, you know, I didn't see what was handed to the observers, um, but I know, I mean, when I left at midnight on election night, um, there was only one set of numbers that, it, that had been printed, that had been handed out anywhere, that were posted to the official website. Um, and so, you know, I, didn't, I never saw another report. And so any changes after you left, those were handed to the observers because nobody was there. Right, right. right. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, so I just want to, I mean, I, I know you know, like I sat through three trainings of how to enter these numbers into the system. Um, I, um, oh gosh, I lost my train. Did she, did she I, sit through her training? She, she, sat, she, so the training was on the computer in Julie's office, um, which was, you know, it's adjoining to Shanna's, and um, she would, you know, sit there for a second and then walk back to her office, and only during one training. So she never sat there and watched the whole thing um, and it you know to my knowledge it was the first time we had used that system so I would think that she also would like you know she would want to know how you know this training or how this works and um, she didn't sit there and learn she didn't write anything down I mean we had printed out they sent over um, you know a, a what they call it, a powerpoint you know kind of slide of what would be on each slide so we can take notes as the training went through um, and she didn't have one of those you know so she pretty much had this attitude that she already knew it and the training was for my you know myself and julie if julie felt like sitting in on it um but i i mean i i sat through all three of them which it was only you know required you sit through one of them they were all three the same training um but you know it's just to give you know, plenty of opportunity if you were sick or whatever the one day, you could have plenty of training. Um, and, um, you know, so I know that I, I did it correctly. The for after the first time I entered the first, you know, numbers, I called Mike and asked, you know, did, did you get them? Are they correct? You know, and it, he said, everything was great. Continue on just how you're doing. I mean, after the very last entry, Mike called and said, got him, great, kind of, you know, go home, whatever. When Shannon White was telling you it was messed up and that she needed to do it over, did she say how it was messed up? Was it the number? Did she say anything? She said did the numbers, know? that there were not, um, what did she say? That the numbers were too low. Something to the, to, I can't remember her exact words, but saying that I didn't put in enough votes, that I used the wrong numbers, or, you know, there couldn't have been, yeah, um, I specifically remember her saying something about Hillary Clinton's votes that I didn't put in as many as there really were, or something like that. You know that I that the number that I put in was less than what there really was, and I I mean I took the you know numbers from the report that I had and put them in the system. So I I know that I did my job correctly, and you know what she did after Julie and I both left, I I don't know what she did, but. She did, you know. did you ever go down into the basement area where the observers and the election material was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever go there and do anything in the that room when the observers weren't there, like move stuff around or just even be in the room? Um, I think that the observers were there. Um, they were not all of the time were observers there when I was in that room when we were stuffing ballots, you know, envelopes with the ballots. Um, you know, that needed to be sent out vote by mail ballots. Um, and we, you know, that's what we were stuffing down there. That's when I was down there in the basement. Um, and I don't, 
I don't think observers were in there every time I was doing it. Because uh, when they were doing the, when they would transfer ballots, spoiled ballots, or the provisional ballots because they were on paper, you were saying there was a problem with running out of ballots at the precincts, mm -hmm. but there was ballots there at that time, which would have been after the election. Do you know, uh, did they ever go get ballots from downstairs to take out? Or do you know if they ever shuffled ballots around that way? I'm not, no, I don't, I'm not aware of any of, any of that happening. 